There has been eight consecutive Atlantic hurricanes of the 2017 hurricane season. The last time the Atlantic encountered this many consecutive hurricanes was in the year 1893. Hurricane Franklin became the first named storm of this year on August the 9th. During the weeks that followed, three of the eight hurricanes, including Harvey, Irma, and Maria, reached Category 4 or 5 status, and all of them made landfall, which sets a record for landfall of consecutive storms. Here are some very interesting statistics. Harvey hit Texas as the Category 4 storm in August, with rain accumulation that surpassed any recorded cyclone in the history of the continental United States. Throughout Irma's development, the destructive eye wall of the storm maintained intensity above 180 miles per hour for an astonishing 37 hours, longer than any other storm in Atlantic history making it one of the most powerful Atlantic storms ever recorded. The Category 5 winds traveled a distance equivalent to almost half the United States or a straight line from Washington, D.C. to Wichita, Kansas, as shown in this map. When combined, Irma and Maria ended up covering more than 1,500 miles of territory while holding the highest rating for Earth's strongest storms. This video shows the impressive progression of catastrophic flooding that occurred in the wake of Hurricane Maria while devastating the Caribbean islands. The evolution of the precipitation levels were followed by NASA's GPM satellites. According to the data, Devastating floods occurred in the Leeward Islands, as well as in Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands. In recent weeks, the ocean has receded from beaches along the Atlantic coast of South America, Europe, Africa, and North America. Scientists have said that the unprecedented phenomena is due to recent storms that are sucking up all of the waters in the Atlantic. This is, however, an event that has happened numerous times along the Atlantic coast of South America since August, and it is difficult to believe that on each occasion a giant storm was responsible for these strange events. So what is really going on along these coastlines? The phenomenon started in Uruguay in August of this year and then progressed to Brazil, where the tidal retreat remains unexplained and not understood. In late September, these images were posted, which clearly shows the water receding again along the beaches of Garatuba, Brazil. But this time, there were no giant storms off the coast that were gathering up the water. No tsunami and therefore no reason to explain the continuation of this anomalous event. So why is the water mysteriously disappearing and where is it going? It would seem that some other mysterious ocean phenomenon is playing a major role in South America. So as the water continues to recede along the coast of the South American continent, there is no one who can explain why this is happening. If you follow the weather reports, as I do and as many others have, then you know that climate change is running rampant. It has virtually reached a point in which its effects on the planet are becoming irreversible. We still do not know for certain what is causing these sudden and drastic changes on our planet, I have argued the point that the primary cause can be associated with the presence of a powerful source of cosmic energy in our solar system, the existence of a large celestial body or system of planets that are now wreaking havoc on the Earth, which could also explain many of the strange and anomalous events that are now happening on a global scale. 
However, it can also be argued that something else is at play here. It is possible that today's climate ailments are being produced by man-made engineering, what is referred to as the intentional alteration of the Earth's climate. It's a process that has happened over years of observation, and no one really knows if or when it will end. The practice of cloud seeding goes back to the 1940s with the intention of dissipating severe storms or producing precipitation. But it is believed that the intent today is to alter the world's climate rather than any weather-related event. Just recently, a complex solar halo formed in the skies over Brazil. This sky anomaly is believed to be the result of cloud seeding air pollutants, in which ice crystals form that refract and reflect light, thus creating this phenomenal sky manifestation. These cloud seeding uh, pyrotechnics are used by the government for such things as the suppression of hail, rain enhancement, and snowpack augmentation all at the risk of modifying precipitation inadvertently. As climate conditions worsen, so does the environmental fallout that is occurring from catastrophic wildfires. Every year, these horrendous fires produce dangerous levels of greenhouse gases and fine particulates throughout the western United States and Canada. In 2017, wildfires have burned 8.5 million acres of land thus far, which is 2.5 million more than the previous 10-year average. Here are some discerning statistics concerning wildfires. In the state of Oregon, they saw 678,000 acres go up in flames so far in 2017, as compared to a similar figure in 2015, where more than 14 million tons of greenhouse gases were emitted into the atmosphere, that being equivalent to the carbon emissions of 3 million passenger cars. If these figures are accurate, then wildfires have played a major role in the toxic infiltration of the atmosphere and the overall health of millions of people in the western United States and in Canada. The disastrous consequences of the events happening on Earth are having a monumental effect on tens of millions of people all over the world. These events, which happen in nature, are increasing exponentially every year, and the statistics provide substantial evidence that the Earth and our atmosphere are dramatically changing. Therefore, it would be in your best interest to heed the signs and the warnings, and prepare yourself for a very tumultuous journey through a time of great uncertainty. So keep yourself informed, be mindful of your earthly surroundings at all times, and above all, keep looking to the sky.